Well, one of the improvements to 6.1, which I absolutely love, is the uh, curve editor and the keyframes on the timeline. So let me show you. Over here on the left, I have 6.0, and on the right, I have 6.1 with the new roto uh, node, which you can access by just hitting the O on the keyboard. So anyway, I have a simple roto on both of them, and with auto key on, I'm going to come up to the top, set that key, and go to 50, bring it over here, and somewhere in the middle, just, okay. So we have three keys, and we're going to do the same thing on this side. Select auto key. Let's keep it nice and even. And say somewhere around there. We'll okay. So we have three keys on both. Okay. Very simple. And you have, uh, you know, just your first key, your last, and the in between. Everything is nice and nicer, right? Okay. Now on 6.0, let's say as you're coming down, you need to move these key points. And then it comes like this. And then as it keeps going, you're doing this. And maybe you're doing this. Okay. And maybe you're doing this. So now, if you look over here, now you have all the keyframes from the the actual uh, transformation the original three keyframes along with your um, points and they're all mixed on the timeline. It gets kind of confusing after a while. So now in 6.1 we have those same three keyframes but when you go to move a point at first, you may not see it show up. And you say, well, what's going on here? How come I'm moving the points there being uh, keyframed, but I don't see them? And that's because you need to switch the tab from Transform to Roto. Now, the Roto tab will show you all the keyframes for your points. And if you want to see the keyframes from the actual transform, from the actual physical, the entire box being moved, you need to be in the transform tab. So you got the roto tab, and you got the transform tab. So that's pretty cool. Now the other thing that's I've been waiting for since 5.0 is this. Let's take a look at the. 6.0 curve editor. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this mess for those four points. Let's come over to the curve editor. And look what we got here. Ah, look how nice. Nice and neat. And watch this. Select this point. Right click. Curve editor. You have a choice between points, the points and the feathers, the points and the tangents, or all of them. Let's just go with the point. So that point is uh, the curve zero, and these are my two curves for that point. And if I go to this point and right click curve editor points, it now shows just that particular curve. This is really, <laughs> I can't tell you how helpful this is. And the other thing is, which is really nice, if you don't know what point is what, you could just come up to the new label point, and now they're <laughs> they're labeled. <laughs> this is curve two, this is curve one. I can hit curve two, right click, curve editor, points, and there's my curve two. I mean, this is just absolutely amazing. Uh, so if you're getting any, if you're getting confused by 
you know, when you're setting keyframes and you're not seeing the keyframes showing up, that's because you're in the transform tab. 